So thank you everyone for joining us. Really appreciate it. I know everyone's really busy. So um, for you taking the time to, to be a part of this uh, means a lot. So um, just thank you again. So my name is Omar Gomez. I am the regional account executive here at Hector based out of Washington State. Um, also on this webinar will be Aaron Croft, our group product manager on the Spectre side, uh, which is our early size um, platform that we have available to growers and pack houses um, around the world. Just a quick little agenda of what we'll be going through today. Um, the previous way of, you know, hand sampling that was done historically for the last, you know, whatever it is, 40, 50 years. Um, solving this problem with a new approach that we created here at Hector. Um, early fruit sizing in action. We'll be showing you what that looks like. That Q&A we talked about and then a conclusion here of what we went over is what this webinar will um, be comprised of today. Just a little bit about us um, here at Hector. You know, we work with over 25,000 hectares across the world. So we're on four continents, you know, New Zealand, the U.S., Australia, Canada, um, Chile, Spain, Czech Republic, Italy. Um, we have users in all those places currently. Um, been globally recognized two years in a row um, as the Ag Tech Breakthrough Company of the Year um, out of 1,600 nominations. So really proud of that. Uh, speaks volumes to um, our development team, our marketing team, and the efforts they're putting in um, every single day industry led. So, you know, we get a lot of, of our feedback and our development is strictly based on feedback from our customers and potential customers as they give us problems they're trying to solve and we try to build solutions for those problems specifically um, directly from their feedback. So as you guys know, the previous way of um, hand sampling or getting early size data um, was a manual process, you know, picking out a certain amount of fruit um, either weighing it or taking calipers, so very manual uh, and time consuming. As I mentioned, um, the time portion of it that it took, so um, it was either out in the field, done in the bin, or at the receiving station, what we've been told and what we saw early on. Um, customers had a QS QC person there um, taking 50 apples out of a lot. Um, you're, that can take you know, whether it's five, 10 minutes, depending on how thorough they were um, and depending on the sample size, really um, depending on how long it took to get that, um, that data. So what we saw was a low volume of sizing, insignificant data, but leading to um, some issues on the, on the predictions and the estimations from what the fruit actually was once it was ran. Um, so, you know, like I mentioned, it was anywhere from 50 pieces of apples for an entire lot. So realistically, that's a 0 0.0025 sample size of an entire lot, not a huge amount of data to be based off of. Um, what we saw, what we heard a lot from our customers was surprises on um, their estimations. So because of the low sample size, some of their predictions were off on what they thought they were going to peak on on certain varieties. Um, some varieties were more problematic than others. Um, what we try to eliminate was having consistent data and eliminating that human error of, you know, it's hard to get someone to pick out 50 random apples. You get drawn to that nice big one. Um, it's just human nature. So uh, with our system, we were able to eliminate that subjectivity of picking, you know, without trying some of the nicer apples on the top layer. One of the big things we heard from our customers was this manual sizing that they had done historically was causing issues on, you know, some of the decision making that has to get done, whether that's storage, um, deciding what's going into long term storage, setting, um, you know, production plans for the year on some of those apples as they're, they get stored in some of the CA rooms. Uh, the sales tests really having an issue with trusting some of that early data they were getting from QC teams or from early predictions just because they might have been burned in the past. Um, and then buying correct, you know, whether you're going to be bagging, um, you think you're going to have a lot of bags, or a lot of boxes, being able to buy the bright, bright things on the production and packing side um, was problematic with the previous way of QCing. 
And then this is where we come in. You know, we started as a timekeeping solution, and then we were told by customers that, you know, having early size and accurate data could be really valuable. Um, so Spectre was created specifically as the handheld version. It was our first version of Spectre um, out in the field. Um, basically, just snap a picture, you get early size data in 45 seconds um, to a minute and color um, parameters as well. So just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Um, there'll be a video playing shortly here. And right after that, Aaron Croft, our product manager on Spectre, will be taking over and handling some of that Q&A that I spoke about. Thanks, Omar, for walking us through those challenges. Um, hi, everyone. My name's Aaron, and I'm a Group Product Manager at Hectare. Today, I'm going to walk you through the benefits that our customers are seeing in their packing sheds and orchards. I'll also show you what the product looks like. Um, I'll use it a little bit and show you how, uh, and then we'll give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you might have later on. Um, but first, we're going to go into some of the practical impacts of using Spectre instead of your old practices. Spectre is a product that's useful regardless of whether you're a grower or a packer. Um, basically what it allows you to do is take a single photo and then get the size distribution of your bin, bucket or crate. And because we, can, we have access to all of the fruit that we can see, this means that you get a much bigger sample size than if you are taking a sample by hand uh, and at a fraction of the time too. Um, but really what it's about is knowing your fruit size earlier than ever before. For a packer, this means you can start taking photos of bins as soon as the trucks arrive at your receiving station. And that information taken at right at that time will help you make decisions that last for six months in the future, where they're gonna be stored, where they're gonna be sold, how you're gonna pack them. Uh, so earlier information is better, always. If you're a grower, you can get a, an accurate picture of your size distribution as the fruit are coming off the tree and going into the bins. Uh, you can also take a photo of every bin just before it goes to the pack house. And what this does for you is it kind of adds uh, a quantitative aspect, uh, a numerical uh, evidence for what you already know about your fruit. So that if you're having a, a conversation with the pack house later on, uh, you've got some numbers to back up your perception of what the fruit was like before it got there. Now, how is that earlier information useful? Uh, so if you pack apples, chances are you've got thousands of bins in storage at any time uh, during your apple season. With Spectre, as I mentioned before, you can get much bigger sample sizes of size uh, with more accuracy as well. Uh, so your size estimates are more accurate uh, and they're more predictable as well. So they're more accurate more often. You can use that information to make storage decisions. For example, if you want to group similar lots together, uh, you can because you know an accurate size distribution of those lots. And this might help you later on uh, when you're thinking of pulling those fruit out. Uh, you can get operational efficiencies by making sure you're only pulling from, for example, one room. But basically what it's about is having a high degree of confidence uh, that you know the size of the fruit that are in your cool sheds. And that's really powerful. And if you know what the fruit are in your cool sheds and you have a pretty good confidence in the accuracy of the, the numbers, that means you can sell with confidence from your cool sheds. So whether you're wondering which lots you want to pack on a given day to fill a specific order, uh, or whether you're trying to make a decision months in advance uh, to lock in a lucrative contract, 
um, you can know what's already in your cool store and you can have confidence that these lots will fit this order, these lots will fit this order, and you can commit yourself to orders that you know you're going to be able to fill, fulfill later on. Um, it's really about selling with confidence. So let's say you've got a large retail customer who's only interested in larger fruit. What you can do is you can go into Spectre uh, and you can dial up all of the lots that have uh, a high incidence of those larger fruit in them. And you can choose, for example, four or five lots that make up the right number of fruit. Uh, and you can have confidence uh, that those lots are going to make up that order. Um, and that means that you can commit yourself to, to more orders as well um, because you don't have to hedge your bets uh, based on the accuracy of the size samples you've got before. Um, so having more accurate samples means you can sell more, you can sell earlier, and you can sell with confidence. So speaking of packing day, uh, once you've chosen the lots that you want to pack, um, you can have confidence in the size distribution of those lots that they're going to pretty closely reflect what the greatest is on the day. And what that practically means is as you're packing the lots, if you have pre-configured your sizer based on that size information, and maybe you've allocated staff as well, uh, and set up your packing line configuration for particular size bands, you can be pretty confident that the Spectre size distribution will be correct. And what that means in practice is fewer stoppages to reconfigure things um, and better operational efficiency in the long run. So let's say maybe you're a citrus grower and you're trying to get your pickers to pick to a specific size band. Uh, what you can do is you can use Spectre to take photos of the, of the bins and get an accurate size distribution of their picks so far. Uh, and the sizes are in the retailer's language. So uh, you can give the, the pickers object, objective feedback on whether they're picking to the right size band based on what the retailer wants. And practically what that means is you can have more fruit that are in the desired size bands and you can leave the fruit on the tree that aren't useful for this order which means you can get a better price per fruit. The other benefit of this is it helps you to train your pickers. Um, it helps you to improve their eye. By giving them that objective feedback, they can know whether they're picking one particular size band or another. Uh, and that means more efficient pickers in the future uh, and just better returns for your farm. So in summary, with Spectre, you can know your fruit size earlier than ever before and at unprecedented accuracy and predictability. At Hectare, we're committed to making all of the Spectre data available to whoever needs it when they need it. Uh, and we've got some really cool features that allow uh, someone from across the other side of the world, if they want, uh, to see the results of the size distributions of bins as they're being picked. So maybe you've got pickers in the field, they're filling up the bins, they take some photos of Spectre. If you're sitting in your farm or at your home, you can see that sample coming straight away uh, and you can have a look at the size distribution of the fruit that are coming off your trees. Uh, also in the pack house, uh, you can keep an eye on the incoming size distribution of fruit from receiving. For example, if you're trying to sell that fruit, uh, it just gives you that uh, information a lot earlier. Um, but also we have other options for, for accessing that data too. So we have uh, spreadsheet reports that you can download. Uh, we've also got an API. Um, but sharing uh, information is very big for us at Hectare. Ultimately, it's about picking better, storing better, packing better, and helping to sell better so that you can get the best price for your fruit. Next, I'm going to show you a video of the Spectre handheld product in action. Now I'll take you through the Spectre handheld app. First, we're going to create a group, which is our term for a collection of bins that belong to the same block, for example. Uh, and then I'll show you in the field how easy it is to take a photo and get a complete size distribution. So here we go. We'll start by clicking the plus button uh, to create a group. Your first choice is what bin type. Um, so we're gonna choose a wooden bin of type A for this example. And then if you've got multiple fruit types, you can select between them and ultimately choose a variety. We'll choose Gala. And then if you have, for example, uh, a lot or a grower ID that you want to associate this with, you can choose that. And then you can drill right down to the block, um, which is useful for uh, synchronizing data later on. Uh, there's also optional fields for truck ID and consignment that you can put in, uh, but we'll skip that for now. 
Finally, the color parameter allows you to set what sort of light to expect on the bin. We're going to choose Auckland Afternoon Sun. So let's go to the pack house where Luke will show us how to take a photo of a bin. Now, as you can see, he's lining up the bin uh, and he's going to take the tablet to a relatively high angle so that we can see all of the fruit. He'll take a photo and uh, soon you'll see he's taken quite a good photo of a bin of apples. Now at this stage, you can take more photos of bins and put them in the same group, or you can just upload now. Uploading only takes a few seconds, uh, and then you go back to the home screen where you can go and look at the results of that bin. You'll see that it's still processing, uh, and in the cloud, we're looking at every single apple in the top layer of that bin, um, and we'll generate a size distribution, which is now ready to view. So as you can see, you can see the size distribution of the bin, and it only took about 30 seconds from end to end. And it really is as simple as that. So you can see that it's extremely easy to get these samples. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about the Spectre dashboard. Uh, the Spectre dashboard allows you to view all of the results at once um, and do some pretty cool visualizations over all of them. So let's jump into that demo. So now I'll take you through the Spectre dashboard. The Spectre dashboard is a place that you can go to view all of the groups that have been collected by your devices in the field, both handheld and top down. It allows you to search and filter for different groups uh, and also aggregate different groups together to find aggregate size distributions. So now I'll show you some of the powerful search and filter functionality that the dashboard has. Let's pretend that we're an Apple pack house. The size search functionality allows you to find all groups that have a particular size band in the top three size bands for that sample. So let's find all groups that have uh, a hundreds as one of the peaks. And you can see all of these groups now have a hundred as one of the top three size bands. I can see here that we've got some galas and some Fujis. So let's narrow down to just the galas it's by searching in variety for gala. Now we can further narrow down to make sure that we've only got very red fruit in the sample. So if we tick this box, it means that there is uh, a lot of fruit that have 100% of our red color. So let's click that. And you can see in just a short amount of time that we've found all groups that have galas of a particular size and color distribution. So now I'll show you how to drill into particular groups. Let's say we're interested in the top three groups here. I can click the View Details button, and that will show me all of the groups. First, I can have a look at the actual photos to see what the fruit physically look like. And next, I can see the size distribution of each group. This one peaks at 100, this one peaks at 88, and this one peaks at 100, for example. One of the powerful features is aggregating all of these groups together. And you can see the aggregate size and color distributions of all of the groups in your selection. Finally, I'll show you how to export the underlying data. You've got two options. Either you can send a spreadsheet via email to up to 10 email addresses, or you can download a spreadsheet right to your computer. I'll show you what the format of the data looks like. So you can see there's some metadata about the groups. Each group is in a row. And then some summary statistics about the size and weight. After that, you can see what percentage uh, each sample had in each size band. And also the count of fruit that it detected in each size band. You can see the same thing for your color percentages later on. So this data can be very useful when it comes to post-harvest analysis or grower feedback. So you can see that that's a powerful way of aggregating and grouping all of the photos that you've taken. So if you're a bigger packer uh, and you have a suitable setup at your receiving, you might be interested in our top-down offering. And now the difference between the Spectre handheld and the Spectre top-down uh, is with the top-down, we take an industrial camera and we permanently mount it at a point uh, somewhere in your receiving setup. Uh, and what you do is you drive your trucks underneath and that we take a video of the trucks uh, and then we can see all of the bins in the top row of that truck. What that practically means is with very, very little effort, uh, you can reliably sample a, a high percentage of your crop 
So uh, depending on how high your bins are stacked, uh, you can get 20 to 30% of all bins generating massive sample sizes and even further increasing the accuracy of SPECTRE. It's also worth noting that if you've got your own BI setup or your own development team, uh, you can feel free to consume our very simple APIs, which will pull all of the information out of SPECTRE that you need. Uh, and you can use that information to put it in your, in your data lake or to dashboard it using your BI tools. Um, so yeah, we're very friendly to enterprise packers as well. So if you're interested, come talk to us. Now, just to cap that off, I'm going to show you a quick video of our top-down setup uh, so that you can see it in action. Uh, and straight after that, we're going to take some questions. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump into the Q&A portion um, of the webinar today. So, um, so you guys can see there's a, a chat and Q&A section. So feel free to jump in there, um, ask anything that maybe caught your eye or wasn't clear. We're happy to answer any any questions you might have. Yes, yeah, see one coming in here. Uh, what fruit types of Spectre support? So um, currently we support apples, pears, cherries. I'm seeing great results as far as 3 to 5% margin of error. On, on accuracy with the PACO report. We've um, last six months really dove into onions um, around the world, Mexico, Netherlands, um, seeing some really promising results there. And we also support citrus, so lemons, limes, um, navel oranges, mandarins. Um, and we have a client in Spain, New Zealand, um, and then we're rolling that out in South America as well. And then this will be our first harvest in South America supporting uh, stone fruit as well. So really excited to see results there and share it with the rest of the world to see how we're, how we're able to size that. and and help different operations around um, Argentina and Chile. Uh, got a question around setup process and how long does it take? So the setup process really um, depends on the, on the organization, the scale of it. So we like to map out um, locations um, that when we're receiving the fruit and you're scanning with our software, um, when you run a report or, or integrate with an API, you know exactly where that fruit came from. So ultimately you wanna be able to track it down to the block and lot level. So it just really depends on how fast you get us that information from the moment you get us back data we need, some of that raw data. It takes about a week for our team to set your account up, do some training, but we've seen within an hour of um, account and training, um, clients have been able to start using Spectre and see some amazing results right away. I don't think we have two more questions here. The next one is, uh, I already have a greater the size of fruit. Would I still benefit from Spectre? I think Aaron kind of covered this quite a bit, but we, we've seen, you know, most of our customers do have graders um, and we've seen some great, they've seen some great benefits. Um, one of the, you know, blurring ones is production planning. So um, on the cherry line this year, some of our customers used it. They were able to cut their downtime from 10 minutes an hour down to zero with our software. So that came from knowing exactly what size distribution their cherry line needed to be um, using Spectre. So they're able to set it accordingly, not have any of those stoppages where they thought they were going to be peaking on, you know, row size 10, not nine and a half. And then they start running the fruit and it completely switches on them where what they only had one line for row size 11 and a half. So they had to stop everything reset uh, with our software. They're able to set it accordingly and keep that line running efficiently. So that was really amazing to hear from 
one of our customers is last year um, using our cherry product. So that's just one example of, you know, using this, the, the early in size knowledge to set those lines and, and be a little more efficient. Uh, can Spectre replace the pre-sizer? That really depends on the organization. You know, if you already made the investment, um, that it is what it is, but Spectre really does do a great job of giving that size and clear distribution early on um, and feel pretty confident in where we're moving um, in the future, um, being able to give starch um, star treatings. We're working on, on, on that currently at the moment. Um, so really excited to see how much more we can add to the Spectre offering. Uh, the pricing model, right? The big question. So we base it based on your volume. So it's a yearly subscription. Um, and that is just based on the volume you produce per year. We multiply that by a cent amount and then that gives you a yearly subscription. So everybody's a little bit different. I'm happy to jump into that um, in more detail with anyone specific. So just feel free to shoot us an email uh, and happy to give you a quote and, and see where you're at and what it would cost you to start utilizing spec in your next harvest or your current harvest if you're in South America. So that is all the questions we have today. We appreciate everybody's time, but um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, excited you guys were able to see Spectre in action and we're happy to answer any more questions. I know one-on-one -on -one if you guys want to meet.